And I recently um, learned that when you're in front of uh, like devices, mm-hmm. that there's light from devices that can mm-hmm. harm your skin, yeah. right? So there are all these different things that you can think about. So industry-wide, what are, what are you seeing in terms of different industries? So, yeah, so light, so blue light in particular has become a big conversation. So um, the LED lights that we use, they preferentially emit in like the blue spectrum, right? And, and we also get a ton of blue light from the sun. So we're always exposed to blue light. Um, so blue lights become really interesting because there have been some studies showing that both UVA, which is kind of longer form of UV light, mm-hmm. um, and and blue light can cause hyperpigmentation, particularly in darker skin types. So there was a big study that showed that um, if you use blue light on darker skin and light skin, um, lighter skin doesn't get hyperpigmentation, but darker skin does. And it's a different type of hyperpigmentation than we see with UV light. So it's a, kind of a different pathway that's going on. Um, and our skin actually sees blue light. So similar to the receptors we have on our retina, we have them on our skin. Um, and it actually sees the blue light and responds to it, particularly in darker skin. So blue light is real. Um, it can affect the skin, um, especially for people who have um, like pigmentary conditions. So things like what we call melasma. So what melasma is, um, we used to call it the mask of pregnancy. So it's kind of that dark patches you get on the cheeks, oftentimes with some sort of hormonal exposure. So pregnancy or birth control, we see it more in women of color, but I see it in everyone. Um, So if you have those sorts of concerns or you have dark spots, stay away from the blue light. Um, That's something else you can do. A good trick to protect yourself. There are tons of products on the market that can protect you from blue light, but tinted sunscreen. So the tint that we use in a lot of products is actually a blue light blocker um, because it's mineral. Um, and so that there, it's iron oxide. So that kind of helps. So blue light is real. You asked me one more thing about lasers. Is that what you asked me about? Yes, because it's so fascinating that, you know, because different skin colors and pigmentations happen, we have to think about things in terms of diversity, yeah. right? Like one of the things that I was introduced to later in life was like the laser hair removal, yeah. because to me, I'm always like, I want to do things naturally, but the laser stuff those are that's a game changer right game changer i've done more lasers than i should admit to myself right (laughs) i've done everything and i have so many patients of color and i say like if someone's getting burned with this laser it's me first i'm not gonna burn my patients so i try everything i use i try myself and we have a ton of devices in my office um but of all the things i have done i would say laser hair removal probably changed my life the most it changes your life your beach ready at all times, you know, it's like, it's one less thing to worry about. And if you're getting, if you have curly hair and you're getting ingrown hairs, it can really change your life and make you more comfortable. So laser hair removal is an absolute game changer.